English Story Times, Book 23, Story 5. Multiplication Problem, Line 1. The arrow is pointing, the arrow is pointing to the multiplication, to the multiplication sign or symbol, sign or symbol. The arrow is pointing to the multiplication sign or symbol. Question. What's doing the pointing? And what's it pointing at? What's doing the pointing? And what's it pointing at? Well, the arrow is pointing at the multiplication sign or symbol. Line two. The problem is four times four. The problem is 4 times 4, and the answer is 16, and the answer is 16. The problem is 4 times 4, and the answer is 16. Question, what's the problem? What's the problem? And what's the answer? What's the answer? What's the problem, and what's the answer? Well, the problem is 4 times 4. And the answer is 16. Three. The problem is easy enough. The problem is easy enough to do in your head. To do in your head. The problem is easy enough to do in your head. Question. How easy is it to do this problem? To do this problem. How easy is it? How easy is it to do this problem? to do this problem. How easy is it to do this problem? Huh, this problem's easy enough to do in your head. Line four. Kids are taught in elementary school. Kids are taught. Kids are taught. In elementary school. In elementary school or grammar school or grammar school to memorize their times tables to memorize their times tables. Two times two equals four. Two times three equals six, etc. Kids are taught in elementary school or grammar school to memorize their times tables. Two times two equals four. Two times three equals six, etc. Question, what do we teach kids and where do kids learn this? What do we teach kids? What do we teach kids? And where do kids learn this? And where do kids learn this? Now, kids are taught in elementary school or grammar school to memorize their times tables. Two times two equals four. Two times three equals six. Line five. This simple multiplication, this simple multiplication is necessary in everyday life, is necessary in everyday life. And there's no excuse, and there's no excuse good enough for kids, good enough for kids not to memorize them, not to memorize them. The simple multiplication is necessary in everyday life, and there's no excuse good enough for kids not to memorize them. <laughs> Question. Where is this? Where is this? Problem solving necessary. Problem solving necessary. Where is this problem solving necessary? Uh, this simple multiplication is necessary in everyday life. And there's no excuse. Good enough for kids not to memorize them. Line six. Calculators are obviously, calculators are obviously used and needed, used and needed for bigger problems. 
for bigger problems. Calculators are obviously used and needed for bigger problems. Question, what are needed? What are needed for bigger problems? For bigger problems. What are needed for bigger problems? Calculators are obviously used and needed for bigger problems. Okay, you're reading out loud goal. Get ready. Okay, here we go. The arrow is pointing. The arrow is pointing to the multiplication sign or symbol. The problem is 4 times 4, and the answer is 16. This problem is easy enough to do in your head. Kids are taught in elementary school or grammar school to memorize their times tables. 2 times 2 equals 4, 2 times 3 equals 6, etc. This simple multiplication is necessary in everyday life, and there's no excuse good enough for kids not to memorize them. Calculators are obviously used and needed for bigger problems.